Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Tamla. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face Mist Sunscreen with Breast Spectrum SPF 55. Should you buy this? Keep on watching. Wait. So, the ingredient list states the active ingredients are avobenzone is 3%, homosalate for 10%, octisalate for 5%, octocrylene 10%. I want to read the claims of this product from the website. On the website, it claims to be oil-free, lightweight, non-commendogenic, broad spectrum of SPF 55, claims to be oxybenzone free. So this contains alcohol, which is like generally all Neutrogena's sunscreen contains alcohol, contains vitamin E. I could see that in the inactive ingredient, I saw that it has tocopherol acetate in it. I'm going to apply this on my hand before I apply this on my face. I want you guys to just see what it looks like. I'm going to go with just two, one, and two. So this is what this looks like. It looks oily, but I want to blend this in. Okay, drying in. This is what I have. There's still like a shine. I don't know how visible that is. I want to wait for it to actually dry down. So while this is drying down, I decided to bring back this bad boy here. I want to spray it on this side of my hand. I'm going to go in with two as well. So we have one and we have two. Blend it in as well. Right. So the reason why I brought this bad guy here back is because of the directions of application so at the back of this is the same directions we are giving here so it says you should not spray either of them directly to face apply it on the hands before rubbing it on the face but my point right here is why is this stemmed a face mist sunscreen if i have to spray it on my hand to apply it on my face i don't get the point because I can do this with the body sunscreen on my face. Why do why does a face mist have to be the same application? See, I have both sunscreens and you can see that they both have shine to it. Which side has more shine? They both have shine. So Nchidina, what did you guys do differently here? What did you do differently? Now I'm going to apply the face sunscreen on my skin so you guys can see what it looks like. On this side, I will have just the face sunscreen and on this side will just be my skin. We're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. So I'm going to close this part of my eyes. Because I have lashes here, I just focus on my forehead. Oh, I think I did here already. So. Because I have makeup on now, I cannot obviously obey the instructions of Neutrogena. So here I have the sunscreen and here I don't have the sunscreen. You can see I have a bit of shine but my makeup is not dissolving which is good. And I like that. I'm going to just fan this up a bit. I would like to try this on my bare skin and I'm going to add the video to this video so you guys can see what it looks like on my bare skin. It's time for me to try the auto share face mist in the spf 55 on my skin so what i want to do now is to apply i'm going to rub and um, spray on my palm as instructed by neutrogena and rubbing on one side of my face then we see a comparison with my bare skin then i'll come back to spray this side and we'll compare both rubbed in and sprayed on i hope that makes sense so now first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be rubbing in on this side i'm going to take maybe three one two three three of that i'm gonna rub in my palm so make sure you go down to your neck your ear area and the back of your neck as well um i don't feel like i did anything i'm just going to go in with two more so that makes it um five i believe I did six actually because you want to be sure that the sunscreen is covering your whole body. Um, yeah, and I didn't do about six when I did a when I did the makeup when I had makeup on, but now I'm trying to have my base skin more covered, you know. 
So on this side has it rubbed in and on this side I have just my vest in. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see me better. Okay, so looking at my face right now, I can see that there's a shine. The shine is just majorly around my eye area and my forehead. As opposed to this side, that's just calm. It doesn't feel like you have oil on your face. It's very comfortable on my skin. I don't feel like I actually did anything apart from when I started rubbing in. But after rubbing in, it looks like, um, it feels like there's nothing on my skin. So I can see that it is actually light weight. Let me not conclude yet because... I currently feel like I prefer it on my best skin as opposed to makeup, but till I try it being sprayed on. Right here, I'm going to spray it now on this side of my face. So I'm going to still shake. Use my phone as my mirror. I'll close this part of my eyes because I don't want to obviously spray it into my um, eyes. <clears throat> when you're going to be spraying it on, your makeup or your bare skin. You're going to try as much as possible to cover both your forehead, your down. You can see it even gets to the back of my neck. So I have to fulfill that part as well. The sprayed side and the side I rubbed in uh, I like. I think it actually looks the same way. You barely will notice that one side has um a shine than the other. Or when I went with more sp um, spritz on this side as opposed to this side. This was six um, sprays on my hands rubbing. But here, I think I went overboard. So if you ask me, I'm going to pick the Ultra Share Face Mist Sunscreen as opposed to the Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion or Water Gel Sunscreen. Yes, I'm going to be picking this. They both contain alcohol. This contains and that contains. But in terms of shine, i rather pick this as opposed to the, you know, Hydro Boost sunscreen. I want to head on to the smell. I know I haven't spoken about that. I kind of wrote it down here so I don't forget. So it smells like alcohol, spirits. Yes, you get that smell. It smells like perfume. Don't actually over sniff this because it could give you headache. But I'm sniffing it for you guys to tell you the truth. In terms of the spray, this comes out really fine. It's a fine mist, really fine um, mist. It's not, the um, spreader is not hard whatsoever. This retails for um, $17.49 on Neutrogena's website. You can get this cheaper, I believe, on Amazon and Target. Links to purchase, this will be in the description box. Please purchase through the links I get a bit of um, commission when you purchase through the links I put in the description box. So please help the ministry so I can be able to, you know, review more products. If you actually decide not to use the link, it's all right. But if you do, thank you so much. The price of the Ultra Share Body Mist Sunscreen is twelve ninety nine on Trujina's website, but you can get it for as low as eight to maybe ten dollars on amazon in which do i prefer on makeup or bare skin in all honesty i think they're about the same application whether you have it on bare skin or you have it on makeup you definitely get this shine but trust me it is lightweight there's no greasiness or heaviness it is lightweight i have a video of me comparing this with the beach defense sunscreen the link is just right up now i also did a video of the application when I had makeup on. If you want to see the video as well, just tap the link right on the screen right now or just check the description box for my sunscreen key list. So with this bottle, I get 141 gram. Basically, I'm getting a five hours worth of product. Right here, I'm getting a 3.4 fluid ounce worth of product. This claims to be water resistant for 80, up to 18 minutes. This claims to be water resistant for 14 minutes. So yeah, there's a lot of things here. They both contain alcohol, but if you ask me, I'll go for this guy over this guy. In terms of price, this. In terms of size, this. <laughs> in terms of everything, this, this, this. So I feel like you shouldn't buy this, except you find this on a really good discount. But without the discount, just don't waste your money. Just go for this. Sunscreen without sunscreen. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah!